Hello everyone and welcome to the new Let's Play. This time let's play The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. Uh, this is a, from what I can tell, point and click adventure thing set over three chapters. At least it says so. Yeah. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3. Um, we're on a train, a train station, and then a museum, I think. Now, this is a... I, I don't know, I think we, we're playing as this fellow, at least at the beginning of Chapter 1, because I, I started that, just get understanding, just check that everything works with uh, recording, which it seems to, and we're playing as that guy who's a policeman and... Considering it's Legacy of a Master Thief, I'm guessing that there's a thief involved. I did skip the opening cutscene, just get to the gameplay, so there's an opening cutscene, and that might explain things a little better. Um, yes, so it's a puzzle game, don't know the puzzles, don't know what's coming. <laughs> let's dive in, shall we? Let's go. Uh, chapter 1, let's start. Starting a new game will result in the auto save file being overwritten. Continue. Yes, because it's practically nothing. Loading. If you're not making any progress, take a break and relax. I can try that. The Raven's heir. <laughs> Soon as one of them's caught, another one takes his place. Hey, Harold, have you read this? Harold? 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 You hear me? This is no time for fun and games. That's quite an opening cutscene, isn't it? I'm guessing that was the British Museum. Probably was thinking that the copper was going to be the raven and kind of knock out the guard, but... So we're on a train going through somewhere mountainous. Um, I'll say that if I don't know. I think we're over this. I think it's a Swiss policeman. So I'm assuming this is Switzerland. 
fancy looking train. Well, yes. Something express. Did that say the Orient Express? <laughs> We're here again, once more. Ah, Lorient Express. Yes. We're back on the Orient Express. In a puzzle game. I wonder if Robert Kath's gonna appear. Or Anna Wolf. I don't know who any of those people are. Hands up! Ah, here we are. I don't have time to play. I'm on duty. Of course. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You're funny, but you don't look like a real cop. You don't even have a revolver. Policemen don't need revolvers. Uh, who are you? What are you doing here? What's your name, boy? My name is Matthew Miller. And where are you from, Matthew Miller? America. From Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. Yeah. But my mom and I live in England now. She's taking care of some rich old lady. We're on our way to Venice at the moment. We're taking a cruise on a big ship. Impressive. You've already seen half the world. I've spent my entire life in Switzerland. Must be really boring. I've never been to Switzerland, so I can't comment. Um, he has a toy gun. And what's with the gun? What do you need it for? It's the Raven. He was gunned down, so now I need a pistol. Mm -hmm. Dead birds don't need guns. No do live ones. You don't know who the Raven is, do you? He's the greatest burglar ever. He stole paintings from the Louvre. And those priceless eggs with gold and diamonds and stuff. The Firebird. And says he replaced the crown jewels with rhinestones. I know who the Raven was. Although, I don't quite buy that bit about the crown jewels. Hmm. Ah, so, the one, so it was the British Museum. The burglary in London. You do know, these days there are thieves far more dangerous than your old raven. Two days ago, a precious ruby was stolen from the British Museum. There was an explosion. A guard was severely injured. Really? Yeah. And you know what the papers say? <clears throat> you talk too much, Constable. It's kind of my job. Zelda, monsieur. <laughs> Anton Jacob Zelda. Anton Zelda. Or did he pull a gun on you? No, monsieur. Get a move on. Ah, oh, poor man. Inspector Legrand, it's a great honor to work with a celebrity like you. We appreciate the support of the Swiss police. Hooray! But. It'd be better if you'd remain seated and keep an eye on things. Uh, I want to help. But, monsieur, surely I can be of assistance somehow. I saw a safe being loaded. We have everything under control. If you'll excuse me, I'll be in the first freight car at the back of the train for the rest of the trip. I'm not here to enjoy the beautiful scenery. I am. <laughs> I, I am a good observer, and I have finally honed powers of deduction. Thanks to that? I watch the people on the platform in Zurich. I know, for example, that that man over there is a violinist. <laughs> that would be more impressive if there weren't a violin case next to him. True. <laughs> and I believe that the gentleman in the next carriage is a German doctor on his way to Italy to take up a new position. <laughs> and what gives you that idea? There's the rod of Asclepius engraved on his cufflink. And he's carrying a German-Italian dictionary. Maybe he's just taking a holiday in Italy, following in Goethe's footsteps. Too much luggage. And no, he's not retiring to Italy either. The suitcases are too shabby for me to believe that he can afford to retire in his late fifties. All right then, Constable... Zelda. Constable Zelda. If you're such a clever fellow, what am I doing on this train? Talking to me. Oh, that's not an option. Uh, you're on holiday. No, because you're obviously talking about work and uh, investigations and whatever you're doing. 
searching for someone. You said you'd be in the freight car, so that means you're not really searching for someone unless you're just travelling there, in which case why do you have the police with you from Switzerland? So you're guarding something, which makes sense because this is safe. I think you're guarding something. Oh really? And what might it be? Uh, whatever's inside the safe. Uh, well, there was a jewel stolen in the British Museum. Obviously, well, whatever. Whatever's inside the safe, obviously. I really couldn't say. But it must be very important. Why is that? Because you are very important. They wouldn't have assigned the case to you if it were just a trifle. <laughs> Let's assume that we really are transporting something very important on this train. And let's assume that it really is my job to see that it arrives safely. Then why isn't the train crawling with police? Um, uh, not to arouse attention. You don't want to arouse attention? If you don't, but why not? Well, that doesn't make sense, so it's because it's a trap. It's... it's a trap! <gasps> <laughs> You've got a vivid imagination. I'll give you that. Well, that is impressive, I admit. But the fewer people involved, the better. Get along fine. Mm. You won't. Won't? Pardon moi. <gasps> I can help. And I will help. You're in my country. And I've been ordered to assist you. And that's exactly what I'll do. Whether you like it or not. Hmm. Clever and stubborn. Your commitment speaks volumes, Zelna. But this is my show, and I don't need you. Bon voyage. Ni but Nina, Nina, Nina. Nina. Indeed. Hello, Matt. Oh, hello. You cheated. I did what? I saw you talking to the German doctor on the platform. He told you everything himself. You were just pretending to put two and two together. And what of it? Do you know who that is? That's Inspector Nicholas Legrand. You have to impress him if you want to work with him. I'm going to tell on you. You'd really tell on me? To the very policeman who shot your dear Raven? Whoa! It was him? Mm-hmm. Hunted and killed Europe's most famous burglar. That's how he got his start. I won't tell him a thing. I wouldn't either. All right, Matthew. I have to do my work now. Everyone calls me Matt. Well, except for my mom. She calls me Maddie, as if I were a little kid. Aww. Whether the Grand wants my help or not, I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I can change his mind. Possiblement. Do you want to learn about the game controls? Um. Uh. Yes, that might be an idea. To examine an item, just click on it. Click on the sandwich paper on the table. This morning I thought I wouldn't be hungry because of all the excitement. Thankfully, I bought a sandwich with me anyway. If you move the cursor over the sandwich paper again, you'll see that the cursor shape has changed and the text at the bottom of the screen says, Take the sandwich paper. Click again to pick it up. Very neatly scrunched. Very good. Move the cursor to the bottom of the screen. In it, you can see all the items that Constable Zelnick is carrying. Left click on the sandwich paper. Now you can use the sandwich paper with, the, with other objects. Move it over the apple core on the table and left click. So we're using them together. I think it said wrap the apple core in the sandwich paper. Open the inventory again and right click on the sandwich paper. Wrap the apple core in the sandwich paper. That way I can carry it without making a mess of my trousers. Uh, Still, I prefer not to have to carry them all day. Yeah, that's my play. Of course, you can also use the items inside the inventory with each other. Left click on the paper napkin, and then click on the sandwich paper in the inventory. The napkin came with the croissant I bought at the train station. A guilty pleasure. I don't need that either. So I'm guessing we're just going to put that in, create like a little... Oh no, we're putting it around. Let's get rid of it. Dump the litter from your inventory into the ashtray. Every table has its own waste basket. Practical. No need to ever leave your seat. So, litter into the ashtray. That wasn't too hard, was it? Now you know everything you need to know about the game's controls. Have fun. All right. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. <laughs> if you insist. Uh, right. Uh, this is 
So it's not keyboard to move, it is uh, just clicking. This is the first car. The coal tender should be directly beyond this door and in front of it, the engine. I wonder who's driving. The large map shows the different routes of the Orient Express. This train began in Paris and ends in Istanbul, as usual. Unfortunately, it will make most of its journey without me. I... I... did they really do that? Did, were they still doing it all the way to Istanbul at this point? Oh, oh this is a Venice Simplon anyway, isn't it? This is going via Venice rather than uh, through southern Germany, like, um, like Robert Kath did. Uh, for those of you who watched The Last Express. Um, that's how that worked. Um, oh, look. The Vicarage in the Mirror, a detective novel by my favorite author, Lady Clarissa Westmacott. For years now, I've been trying to convince my theater group to stage one of her plays. Uh, so this is, I'm guessing, is I, mean, I don't think this is going to have the real-time elements of. Uh, uh, the Last Express, which is... Uh, I'd love to play a game with that. Another one with that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Selna. Let's observe the violinist. The violinist is a good-looking fellow. And he's travelling through the most beautiful mountain landscape in the world. Huzzah. I can only hope that his violin is better tuned than he. Mm. Let's talk to him, shall we? Ooh, the nerves. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, who are you? If I'm not mistaken, you're a violinist. That's true. A wonderful instrument. The violin music touches the soul. That's why I learned to play it. Do you play in an orchestra? No. Orchestras aren't really part of my world. A solo violinist. The best soloists travel a great deal and make a pile of money. Or so they say. In that case, I'm probably not one of the best. Ah. Uh, where are you traveling to? Are you traveling to Istanbul non-stop? No. I'll transfer in Venice. To a ship. I'm on my way to Cairo. So is Matt. Cairo? Hmm. I'm performing at a reception in the Egyptian Museum. Unusual occurrences. I'm sure your recital will be a great success. But tell me, did you notice anything unusual on the train? Anything unusual? Persons acting suspiciously, for instance. For heaven's sake, is that cause for concern? Everything is in order, sir. We Swiss are just very cautious people. I understand. No, I didn't notice anything. Have a good trip. Thank you. Acting a wee bit suspicious, methinks. 